You know, one of the things that's really uh, plagued me as a pastor over the over the decades that I've been a pastor was where was the church? Where was the church during the Holocaust? And why didn't the pastors speak up? And, you know, as we've had this Roe versus Wade issue for the last 50 years, you know, where was the church and why hasn't the church spoken up? And, you know, you mentioned silencing. I, I think there's been a national attempt to silence pastors and it's worked. Uh, just like it did with um, with Germany, because in Germany, the pastors were being silenced because they were receiving a stipend from the government. And uh, the churches today, they're receiving not a stipend, but they have this so-called 501c3 letter that every pastor that I, I shouldn't say every pastor, but many pastors are afraid to speak out about truth. And so as I look at uh, what's going on here in Michigan, even with attempts to silence me, um, it, I, I'm on the front row. I get a front row seat to that. And Justin, I'll just tell you, the biggest concern I have is as the Michigan GOP has attempted to silence me, as polls have attempted to silence me, the, the question I have is if they're silencing me right now as an individual running for governor, what are they going to do for pastors two years from now? I, I can imagine all of the craziness that's going on in D.C. where the uh, they're passing laws of hate speech and things like that, that pastors are either going to speak up now or they're going to be silenced uh, and end up in jail.